All right, everybody, and welcome back to Q and C of the day. Welcome back to the office. So uh, these, this, this Q of the day is pretty interesting because it was just me that was tagged in actually a Twitter uh, response. And this all comes down to um, Voyager and Celsius. So uh, if you don't know, I'm a big believer in both of those. But I got to tell you, I got to tell you, over the last, I don't know, about a month or so, uh, two to three weeks or so, it seems like the, the, the big issue has been customer service. I know what's going on. The, the thing that's going on is growing pains. As we start to really take off in this space in cryptocurrency digital assets, you're going to see uh, more issues with customer service. And the exchanges, the wallets, and the brokerages that cannot keep up are going to wither away and die. Because if you are an investor and you are not appreciated and you're just kind of like swept to the side like some of the places have, uh, you're gone. So there is no reason to stick around. Remember, I, I tell this to everybody. I I'm going to say this again. We do not work for the exchanges, the wallets, and uh, the brokerages. They work for us. So if you're not being appreciated, you go someplace else. And that's all you got to really remember. So uh, what I saw a couple of days ago is what made me reaffirm my belief in the different place that I, I picked. So this is in Twitter, and this was a message that was addressed to me and to Voyager. And this is from Bruce, and Bruce said, hey, I tried to sign up and invest Voyager as recommended by News Asset. That is me, and that's my Twitter handle. Couldn't connect to Capital One Bank. I emailed Invest Voyager, but have not received a response. And I sent out a tweet, said, well, how long ago was that? Just trying to get some intel. He said it was five days ago, which is way too long. So I always say, you know, get, work the system. So send an email, let them uh, 24 to 40 hours to get back to you, and then hopefully they can give you the right response. But within a couple hours, this guy comes in uh, named Steve Ehrlich, the CEO of Voyager, right? And he says, hey, please send me a DM and the info, and I'll make sure it gets taken care of. So first of all, I, I said, well, I said, thanks, Steve. But, but the big thing is that how many CEOs do that? How many CEOs of a major company jump in and say, you know what, send me the message and then I'll see what I can do to, to rectify this. And usually when the CEO uh, takes place and says, hey, uh, I'm going to do something, and he tells his, you know, the staff to do something, usually, just saying, usually the staff gets and, you know, takes action. So I do not see this being an issue too long for Bruce. Uh, I reached out to him, but he hasn't gotten back to me, so maybe everything worked out. But that's a, to me, that's amazing. You're not going to see like Brad Garlinghouse coming on like, hey, did you guys get scammed? Well, let me help you out. I'm, I don't think it's going to happen. Not that Brad's a bad guy. I don't really know him, but uh, sure. I mean, if you have a CEO coming in, I think that's pretty good customer service. So that was one thing. The second thing is this was actually uh, an email that I had gotten from Amateo. Amateo is one of the VP of operations or VP of marketing over there at um, uh, Voyager. And he just sent me this. I mean, he sends it to everybody. It's not like I'm special. He's like, hey, here's the, the interest rates uh, for this week or for September. USDC is at 9%, Bitcoin at 6 <clears throat> ETH at 4.5%. And, and I was like, great. So I put all my USDC into Voyager. So I'm going to get 9% interest rate. Uh, that's way better than the bank. And I'd like to put over at Celsius. The problem is, is that uh, I live in Texas. And Texas is the only state where you cannot uh, get any kind of interest on a stable coin like USDC. Love Texas. I love Texas, but uh, sometimes, you know, what are you going to do? It just, it just happens like that. So I sent an email back. I said, hey, Mateo, just to let you know, uh, first of all, great interest rates. Second of all, uh, there's been some incidents come up uh, as far as with Voyager, and I've had some complaints. Are you guys going through growing pains, which is what I assume everybody's doing? And he pretty much confirmed. He's like, you know, he said, thanks for the feedback. We're definitely growing really fast, which I can definitely see. Uh, but we've also scaled up our customer support team significantly to handle all of the inbound requests. Uh, we're doing pretty well, but we, you know, we find it hard to please actually everyone. And I got to tell you, that is true. I have multiple businesses that I've owned, and I can tell you to please everyone all the time uh, is a surefire way to blow your head off because <laughs> you will never do it. So you just have to, you know, get just aim for your best excellence and then move forward. So that's pretty much what's going on here. He says, you know what? Um, we did have an, a, a, a bug that's, that's affected a small number of customers, but we fixed it and we're moving forward. He goes, the customer sentiment is, is overall pretty high, 
but we're always looking for ways to do a better job. So please feel free to forward any information to me, any negative comments. So I'm like, great, you know, there's somebody who's, you know, looking out. So I said, yeah, you know what, there's, there's this thing that came up. Somebody had uh, used my referral link of Dan. They had put money in. They haven't received the referral link. And you look into it. And that's it. So again, I'm very happy with how things are going there. Also, if you do not get a response from places, you do not feel like, you know what, I don't feel like I'm being appreciated here, go someplace else. That's it. Again, we don't work for the wallets, the exchanges. They work for us. Um, so that leads me to, to my next and final point, which is about Celsius. I love Celsius. Um, I believe in people. I believe in teams. I believe in Elon Musk for Tesla. I think he'll you know, make it go to great heights. I believe in Steve Jobs for Apple. I believe in Stephen Ehrlich for um, Voyager. And I believe in Alex Mashinsky for Celsius. I think that guy's very dynamic. He created voice over internet protocol. He's always doing AMAs. He's, he's very accessible. He's been a lot of YouTube shows. I think you should come on mine. What are you gonna do? I, 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 gotta, I gotta actually reach out and do my due diligence and ask him. But um, this was, so what I'm trying to say is I believe in Celsius. So when I got this email, this is from Tiffany. She said, hey, I've had a problem with Celsius. I deposited 2,000 uh, Omisego or Omisego, OMG. Uh, in November 2019 and when the price went way high because they are helping out Ethereum with all their crazy fees which was great and OMG went up pretty well she was she, she stood to gain about four thousand dollars and when she tried to cash out it wouldn't allow it so I said well what's going on did you reach out to customer service that yes it's been a couple days but then she emailed me back said you know what here's what happened um, I was going to what she say it here oh it was a number of coins issue. In the app, you need to input the number of coins manually. If you click max, you will get you will get the uh, message not enough fund. So what she had to do was instead of putting the 2089.457018 of OMG that she owned, she went ahead and put in 2089.457 and left it at that. And it was just a little bit enough to actually go through. So this is a glitch in the system. So if you have that issue with Celsius, now you know what to do. But I need to let Celsius know. I need to let Celsius know this is what's going on and uh, because they're glitches and they need to know. So again, the same thing holds true with Alex. Alex, if you're listening or watching, probably. Uh, come on the show and then uh, tell us about customer service and what's going on. But uh, I got to tell you, one thing is I believe in that guy and that's why I use Celsius. Um, there's other exchanges that they talk a good game, but the people behind it, I don't really know them. I don't really know what they're doing, and uh, they're not doing the things that I see uh, these guys are doing to delight their customers, as Warren Buffett says. A little Warren Buffett for the day. All right, so that's it for the, the Q of the day. Um, now we're going to go into the C of the day. C of the day is for the correction of the day. If you watched yesterday's video, I had cor did a correction. Uh, there's two screw-ups I did, so I just tell you, hey, uh, I'm not perfect, and... Uh, <laughs> If I don't know it, I, I don't know it. I'll tell you I don't know it, um, or if I screw up. So, but uh, yesterday, uh, surprise, surprise, we did no screw up, which is amazing. So that's a good thing. But we will continue to do the Q and C of the day. I'm sure there's probably something that needs to be corrected in this video. Maybe yesterday was just a fluke. So if you see something, if you see something, say something. No, if you see something, put it in the comment section. And I will talk about that in tomorrow's video, which will be Saturday. All right. Uh, so that's it. Let's uh, jump back, huh? All right, I hope that answered everybody's question and uh, thank God no corrections to do. But uh, here's what we got. Um, if you don't know, there's a join now button underneath on the bottom right. You don't get anything special. Uh, it's just like a tip, buck 99. And what I do is just do random shout outs. So for all, for everybody who's uh, signed up, just let me say, hey, Jorge Alba, uh, Modern Samurai. That guy's funny. He's always making fun of my uh, pink shirt. Right. Salmon, that's right, Salmon. Eric might go, uh, Amuse Web Design. Uh, Albert Allery and Igor Pusin. So thanks so much for joining up. Really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, there's gonna be two more gonna pop up on your left and right. Not sure, YouTube controls all that stuff. And uh, that is it, so check those out. Um, they also control the ad. So if, if you saw a scam ad, uh, report that, and then uh, say hi to YouTube, because they'd love to hear from you if you got a problem with that, with uh, scam ads like I do. All right, that's it. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.